Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the 12th here at Garforth. Dave Harrison currently minus three, mid handicapper Dave on fire. We've got 141 yards here on the par three. So a nice change, a nice short par three. But as you can see, as you do with most short par threes, it is surrounded by bunkers. Most of the trouble is at the front. The bunkers probably go two thirds of the way up the green and if you hit it long you have got a you have got a backstop so the okay. good thing not to do is to leave it short so the big thing like dave says is not to be short so we've got to think about carry here we've got to think about your condition so guys if you are playing in the winter or you are playing in colder climates you need to think it's all about the carry number here so your clubs simply aren't going to carry as far due to the conditions in comparison to if you're playing in a warmer climate such as the Middle East. So Dave here needs something that's going to carry at least 135, so I'm going to have a guess that he's got his, the longest iron in his club, the six iron, Dave. Correct, I have. Correct. So Dave's Quite d simple because it's cold and you, you can't see it but it is slightly uphill as well. And it is slightly uphill and that's what he's seen from his rangefinder, so guys when you are using your rangefinder do use the slope on there. I don't believe it's allowed in competitions but I know it's allowed out here whilst me and Dave play. So. Trying to get something to carry, 135 yards here minimum. We're going to aim at the silver birch. Like Dave says, the silver birch is to the left of the flag. Like Dave says, there is a backstop here, so being long is better than being short. He's more comfortable chipping back towards the flag than he is out of a bunker. So that's a great shot. Oh, just short of the bunker. So again, that shows it wasn't Dave's best strike. No, a bit off balance, wasn't it? A little bit off balance, a little bit off the toe, which is a tendency of Dave's. But there, he's just come short of that bunker. So that shows, guys, even in the winter or in the colder weather, the ball is carrying nowhere near as far as it will in the summer. So you do need to be aware of that. You do need to get to a range or get for a lesson and start to do your gapping and see what your clubs are going to be travelling into the winter right a tricky shot here for dave but we can see what dave means obviously the bunkers go nearly all the way to the back edge of the green here on the left and they do go to the middle on the right so long of the hole would have been better dave's left himself a tricky shot but you've got to think there guys when you're on the par threes make sure you know your carries carries are key coming into the winter we're not going to get as much room we're not going to potentially not going to get as much spin it's probably going to land and stop so think about your carries don't go for your total distance it's all great if you hit your six iron 150 yards but if it lands at 120 it's not going to get over the trouble so think about your carries go and get your carry distances go and have a lesson get your distances coming into the winter and you'll certainly enjoy your golf a little bit more. So Dave, what club have you got? So Dave's got So Dave's got his A tie and he's just wondering if he can actually stand and hit it. So if you go along the club Dave it's gonna be harder so let's drop down to a pitching wedge. Yeah. David gone a lot of people here would try and get an A tie and it's gonna be longer, it's gonna be harder to get a stance. You can see it's already an awkward stance. Dave's been able to get that ball running, not a bad shot at all, and we're on the green. So we're punished a little bit by the shot, it was very, well, it's lucky not to go in the bunker and it's unlucky to go too close to the bunker, but there Dave's left himself around about six feet, I'm going to give that a good chance to get out of here with a par. So it's rolled up here, we can see that from the roll of the ball from the chip shot, it did move a little bit of right to left, so Dave's going to get in and do his green read. Again, he's got to think about where that is moving. We want to get this lined up. Dave doesn't get a shot on here, so we are three under. And there's nothing worse, although I see it time and time again, of making a bogey on a short par three. People take advantage of them. People think, oh, it's going to be easy. I can just get that ball onto the green. It should be a, a guaranteed three. We have to give it the respect that it needs. Oh. The last one didn't turn as much as we thought because of the dual. Correct. So Dave's saying that if you do get a green, this green actually hasn't been cut by the green keepers. So if there is some dew, this is not going to break as much as you think because it's going to be slowing the ball down. The ball then won't take as much break. So here, Dave's counted for that. 
hopefully, a little bit of right to left, just outside. Oh, and another one, straight over the edge. So that was more pace, wasn't it, Dave? Yeah. So you pace need, there. You needed to be two foot past, not, not an inch and a half past. Yeah, if that had gone a foot past even so, or a foot and a half, that would have stayed on its line a little bit better, and that would have had a great chance of going in. But realistically, from there, we didn't probably deserve to get up and down because it was a poor shot off the tee. Dave's given himself another chance, but we've missed it. But we remain two under the handicap and breaking 80 is still on.